hello. Uh, it's been a minute. As you can see, the afro's back. It's been multiple years. I know. Flat top is gone. It's crazy. I know. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's, it's been at least a... Uh, hold on. I've got the exact amount of days. It's been 66 days and one hour. Uh, 66 days and one hour. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's how long it's been. 66 days. So, why not return? This is my first video on college, and I'm gonna return with the Q and A. Not the Q and A that y'all I did that one video. That will probably be a different video. I forgot to do that, but I'll I'll get back with that one. But this one, I made up the questions, but it's some of the questions y'all ask the people that go to this campus. Uh, long story. Well, we'll get into it. Uh, so let's go with the questions. I got my speaker and I got the director here. So go ahead, go with the questions. All right. How does it feel to be campus famous? Uh, feels good. Feel, it feels feels very good. People ask that question a lot. Um, I I like it because I already planned for it. I already wanted the notoriety. I remember uh, one night I was driving with my dad, or I was driving myself. I was just me, and, and I was talking to my dad on the phone. And I was like, I want the notoriety, and I asked him, Is that like a bad thing? And uh, and he he helps me through it i had like i don't know i was thinking about it but um i think it's, it's not bad as long as you know we go do it you know it's a sword it really is it's like winning a giant sword because so much things can happen to your mental self like it's a lot to take into concentrate it's, it's hard to explain but anyways i want to lead people and i feel like that right there is just just, I don't know, like, spread light. That's all I want to do. And especially through my music. I just want to spread uh, positivity. So, yeah, I'm, I want to be campus famous. I think it's good, yeah. Do you get annoyed sometimes? Yes, I definitely do get annoyed. Uh, sometimes. I'll say, like, 10, 15% of the times because people be asking pictures. They be, like, wanting hugs. Uh, but it mainly be people that, like force it a little bit they be forcing it i don't i don't like that uh just calm down it's all right you know we're, we're the same uh but yeah you know i think it, it do get annoying sometimes i don't i'm not mad at it you know it's something to expect when you uh grow uh, i feel like i'm a celebrity honestly <laughs> like, like, I feel like this is like an interview like i don't know is college stressful yes it is i'm not gonna lie um when I was in third grade, and I know I'm bringing past stories, but that's something I always do. Uh, but past story time. When I was in third grade, well, no, when I was in second grade, they said that third grade is going to be hard. It really wasn't. Fourth grade, fifth. It, grade school wasn't hard. Each grade, they said it would be hard. And the, the way they put it, it was like H-E double hockey sticks. I'm not going to lie. But it's not. It's uh, All you got to do is put effort and time. The reason why I bring that up is because when people say college is hard, they're not lying. Okay, it's not easy. It's you got to put effort, but you got to put a lot of effort into it because you got more responsibility now. It's basically like how you as a senior, but um, a lot of strings are cut off now. You know, you got some strings, honestly. But even after this, it's going to be. I'm not even gonna say it's harder after college because this is basically the adult life right here. This is like a mini simulation of it. So I will definitely say it was stressful, um, but I'll say after this. There's like two or three more strings, and it's probably not going to feel like nothing, really. The only thing that's going to change is, first of all, you got your own job, and uh, you're on your own. In most cases, some people move in with people, but in most cases, you're on your own, and you know what you're going to do with that, so yeah. What are your next steps for your music? Um, this Friday, I'm going to post that video, too. too. I'm going to post both of, the, both, both of those. I met with someone named Bowen. He's, he plays a guitar, an electric guitar, and I met someone named Josh. He plays a piano. We both collaborated on different times, but this Friday, we're going to all meet together, uh, try to create a song, but also I got a song called Loner. I want to perform that with them. Um, but yeah, right now, my EP dropped. I got over a thousand monthly listeners right now. Uh, Banger is the most popular song with over 2,000 streams. It should have over 2,000 streams by now. Um, but yeah, people love that. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't know, I'm not gonna say no names, but I don't know the name. I met someone at Kane's the other day. They said they was listening to my stuff on the highway. It's going to 1.30, I'm not lying. I don't know if they was lying, 
but the way they made the scene, I don't think they was lying. They said they was going 130, plain banger. Don't get at me. No, I'm not an accomplice. That's just, I'm just, I just heard that, okay? I don't know names. I don't know faces. Uh, and speaking of faces and names, I meet so many of y'all. And if I forget y'all names, I apologize, but it's just so many I meet. But yeah. Are you going to continue YouTube? That's a good question. I'm definitely going to continue YouTube. But obviously, like, have y'all, how y'all seen, it's going to be a lot of time. Because right now, I'm focusing on my musical career. And, uh, like, there's a lot of things I want to do in life because I feel like life, just go for it. Go for it all, you know? Life is too small for you to do one task, I feel like. Now, don't, you don't, you can do one task if you want to, but me, I want to do music, YouTube, I want to art, like, paint. I want to do even so many other stuff. Than what I just said, uh, I want to just go out there, you know, um, and just explore the fascinations of the world, if you would say. But um, YouTube, you know, I'll get some videos here and there, probably like once every month. I don't know. I just recorded a video with a a person that goes to this dorm, and the video was doors floor two. Uh, Y'all know I'm a veteran at doors, but I don't know if I'll ever get around to edit edit that video. Um, I had an editor. And unfortunately, we have to part ways for now because I just wasn't financially there. Um, and um, honestly, none of us are still financially there because college, it takes so much money, it takes so much time. And saying this, that's why YouTube got to take a break right now. I can't, I'm, I'm focusing on my music because if I can make this music blow up as I'm, I'm already doing, I can focus back on my YouTube and uh, do I want to do a YouTube and the game? I, I'm making a game too, so yeah. What's the best thing about UC? The best thing about UC, I'll say, is uh, the people. Probably the people is the best part. Obviously, I mean, obviously, yeah, it was the people for me. That's what I gotta say. People. What's the worst thing about UC? The damn architecture or architecture. What's it called? The architecture culture, like you know, the buildings and stuff, like a. Architecture. Oh, architecture. <laughs> because, bro, the damn, they got, like, stairs that, like, I don't even know how to explain it. They're, like, big stairs and they're small stairs. Then they got these zigzaggy things. That's probably the worst part of UC. And it's big. It's confusing. I, I don't know. But, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that, the architecture. What's your least favorite class? Computer networking. Computer networking is... By far, my worst favorite class. I don't. It's not. I don't even want to consider it my favorite. Just my worst class because um, I'm getting a decent grade in there, but I have to. It's not because oh, this is fun. It's boring to me. Okay. It's it's just it just it's not my type. You know, it's not my type. But yeah, that's why I gotta say computer networking is. Uh, you know. What's your most favorite class? My most favorite class would have to be. Uh, fundamentals of web development because that's where we actually get to program like html y'all don't know what html is it's a hypertext markup locator or is it hypertext markup i think it's something like that but um it's basically a type of programming language you use to develop code or a website um the three main factors that plays into websites y'all see it all the time but it's behind the scenes so um, y'all be seeing like images and words and stuff. But behind that is code. And the three types of code is uh, HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Those three things are what makes you be able to watch things like, I believe, YouTube, Netflix. I think Netflix used that too. Uh, but it's that type of stuff, basically. That's how you get to watch that, so yeah. How do you feel about Chocolate Madness? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I'm neutral about that, obviously. Chocolate Madness is a, I, okay, so the reason how I came up with that, I came up with that one day, and I was just, uh, I was making a beat, I forget what beat I was making, but I was making a random beat, uh, I don't think it even was random, it might have been one of the songs that's on my album, but um, I was just making a beat, and I was talking to myself, and I was like, I want people to call me Chocolate Madness. I don't know. I was just like rehearsing if I would have done a video on Snapchat. And I had that in the books for a while. Then once I actually got here, I said that back in my hometown. When I got here, I was like, you know, let me say it. I had to put it in the books. I opened the book and I seen Chocolate Madness. And 
and uh, well enough, that was my golden ticket to right here. I didn't even know that, you know? Um, and by the way, I feel like gold, Chocolate Madness is what brought me here. I would say it's what blew me up a little bit more. I don't think it blew me fully up. I think what blew me up is I dissed a guy, and when I dissed him, that blew me up. But people didn't know my name, and when they met me, they was like, hey, what's up? But when I said Chocolate Madness, it was over. But the reason why I consider myself Chocolate Madness is because, first of all, I'm chocolate, obviously or AKA African American, you know? But yeah, chocolate. And madness is because girls, when they see me, they like, oh man, I can't help myself, I need a taste. So chocolate madness, they go crazy. But then I think it's kind of effed up because the guys started to say it. And I was like, no, 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 I didn't think the guys would say it. You know, y'all don't know what that means, but now y'all know what that means, chocolate madness. That's for the girls, that's a ladies thing only, but I guess not anymore. Um, but I feel okay when people call me Chocolate Madness. Sometimes it gets annoying because it's like, okay, bro, call me TK. I rather prefer TK. Uh, Chocolate Madness is it's okay sometimes, you know. Uh, and shout out to the people. I forget their names. But they came up to me and it was like, are you okay? Because, you know, in a, in a sense, it's kind of, it's, it's heavy, a little bit on the race side, if you would say. Because it's like, here's these girls and guys that came up to me and it's like, do you want us to call you Chocolate Madness or do you want us to call you Barona? And it's like, oh, it's okay. Um, I prefer if y'all call me TK. Um, you can understand what they're saying because they thought that they um, came up with that name for me. They didn't know I came up with that name. And I was like, no, I came up with the name. Then they got a better understanding. And I can see how it's on the race side, you know. I don't mean it for that. It was all just funny games. But, uh, yeah, that's that's basically I feel that's it. That's it. It's history, you know. Mentally, are you well? Um, I would say, yeah. Well, I would say kind of, yeah, obviously, because college is taking a toll a little bit, but um, they said that after the first year, it gets easier. Um, but yeah, I will say, I feel like every student here is not at the fullest. They're, they don't got all the rounds of the caliber, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? They they going through a lot, you know. I speak. To, I spoke to multiple students that got grades as me. My grades are not as great as they were in high school yet, or, or right now. They get better, but same as other students. They're, you know, this is our first year. This is new, but uh, this music is what helps me. My passions is what pulls me through, you know. Um, but yeah, I definitely love music. I want to get more into music, and that's what's going to drive me. My goal is to like, bro. I even told my dad like. I'm out of here. If I start, if if I get very successful off of this journey, I'm leaving school because I can still learn. I that don't mean I'm giving up coding. That just means that um, I, I'll be gone from UC. You know, because um, I don't feel restricted, and I'm not gonna lie. In a way, right now, I feel restricted, not due to the, the people. I love the people. I love my supporters. I love the fans. It's just the fact that I don't know, man. I want to get out of there. I like. You know how cool it would be to do performances or shows? Did, did you reach out to people for help? I did. Um, if we're talking about education-wise, there's people called TAs, which are teacher assistants, and there's one TA for every professor, except for professional development, which is for co-ops. And if y'all don't know what co-ops are, co are, it's basically where you got to work like 40 hours out of a week, and that's in replace. That's in replacement of your education. So for a semester, instead of doing education, you do a co-op. Um, they don't got one for a co-op or PD, professional development, which I think is crazy because I, I'm actually, that's one of the classes I'm struggling in really right now. Um, I actually just submitted my resume, um, but I think, bro, get a TA in there. And I don't think they do online classes. I don't know. But um, yeah, I would just say it's getting, it's getting better for PD. But uh, for, that's TAs, that's education. Music-wise, non-education, I reached out to Bowen, I reached out to Josh because it's not only benefiting me, it's benefiting them because they get notice too and it's not only about the notoriety you know i actually love to do music you know i always loved music ever since i was younger i would say my grandma and my dad really got me into music um uh, if y'all don't know i love the piano i that's i love the piano you know i, I love to uh i'm trying to get better at that i downloaded an app called simply piano um i had to cancel it though because i'm not paying like 50 dollars okay i don't got that to do with you 
So um, I'm trying to read better, like sheet music, like a, every good boy does, or every good boy deserves fudge. Uh, yeah, but um, I can play some songs on the piano. Uh, y'all probably see him down Snapchat. If y'all only from YouTube only, then that's tough. Thanks, sir. Tonight's the night. What is your real name? My real name, um, that's what people always ask me that because they like, wait, are you Chocolate Madness? I tried to search Chocolate Madness on Spotify, no one popped up. That's because you gotta search up Nelsk TK, Chief. Okay, Nelsk TK, uh, it's the name of this channel. Um, Nels TK is Nelsk the Kid. Um, my real name is. I don't know if y'all ready for that. Something y'all already know. Like, if my family members watching this, you already know. The reason why I don't like to disclose my real name is because, um, I don't know. I always like to be called TK. Even my teachers call me TK. Even my professors now, some of them call me TK. I just, I always felt very comfortable with TK. And people think it's weird, and I understand. Because TK, the letters, literally the letters TK don't even appear in my name. You know, they don't. It's nowhere to be found in my name. Um, that's because I came up with TK, and I don't know. I just always felt close to it. I had this, and this name didn't come out of nowhere. This was, I, I had this name for years, okay? So I started this channel off with my, uh, this name, in a way. I was TGK, but then I went from TK, so yeah. Okay, to add on, um, one thing I, ask, I also want to get out is season two of 12 Days of Halloween. Um, I really want to do that, and hopefully y'all can work on it. I, I don't know. Um, I got to get it set up. The way I did season one, 12 Days of Halloween, I forget how that even popped up. I think I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to do something for Halloween. That's what I wanted to do. And I told my mom, I remember I broke down because I had a whiteboard. I wrote down like a box, like a grid for like a month. Then I put in the days and I used like a ruler to stay organized. And I put down the days of each month or each day and it was 12 days of Halloween. So for example, day one was uh, ranking the Michael Myers mask, which was one of my favorite episodes. And like day 12 was carving pumpkins. And I want to do something like that again. I want to bring season two back, but uh, I remember I ran down to my mom and my sister, and I was like, I showed them, and they was on board. My mom helped me, helped me get like the props set up. Uh, that was that's the, that's probably my most favorite series on my channel, and I want to bring that back. I want to bring it back for season two because it's not only about uh, the good times, but I also love the intro. I love the music. I love the overall production. The production for that series was fire. There are like three or four episodes that are iffy that are kind of. I wouldn't recommend watching, I'm going to be honest, because I didn't put my my absolute best into it. But, um, yeah, you know, I feel like I want to bring season two back. But like I said, college is probably going to get in the way of that. And if so, I'll just move season two next year. And if it won't happen next year, it'll happen the year after that. But I want to bring that to y'all because uh, I got more supporters. Since I've been here, i gained multiple subscribers. So hello to the new supporters. Uh, but yeah, um, and besides 12 Days of Halloween, uh, I'll say I got a song called Have a Little Faith coming out soon. Hopefully, hopefully if that goes well. I got a song called Loner coming out soon. Hopefully. No, Loner will come out. Okay, I'm going to give that to y'all. Same with Have a Little Faith. Have a Little Faith will come out. Uh, now, uh, they'll come out soon. Um, yeah, you know, that's... That's all I gotta say. Um, until next time, we'll see each other. What? Dang, it's been a minute since I did the outro. Hold on. Until next time. Or no. Okay. Until then, we'll see each other next time. Three, two, one. Bam!